What is going on, everybody? It is your boy. The Wolf of Crypto here, man. Y'all checking out another episode. You know what I'm talking about. Crypto Millionaire Journey. Today's topic. Very exciting topic, actually. We're going to be shifting our focus. We're on the Solana blockchain today here, folks. Samoid Coin. Uh, it's dubbed it's dubbed a lot of different names. Um, it's dubbed as Solana's cutest ambassador. It's the doge of the Solana blockchain. But most importantly, this bad boy has been tearing it up. It's been tearing up the market. Um, right now, it's actually down compared to what where it was maybe a couple days ago. It's bad boy. Shot out a can cannon, folks. A cannon. Yeah. Um I had initially bought in around like a penny range. Two pennies. News flash. Wish I would have bought more. Cause whoa. When it had jumped to uh twenty five cents, it was just boop. That simple. I said, wow. And then I was also, too, trying to figure out, well, why did it go boom, boom like that, right? Well, let's actually talk about the project a little bit because, I mean, technically speaking, this is kind of considered a meme coin. I mean, if you want to be honest, uh reason why I say that because, I mean, well... I mean, there is some utility, but other than other than that, it's not too much you can do. But as far as it being a community token, that's maybe something that we can maybe dub it as well because this is a symbol of the Solana ecosystem. And their whole thing is they, they want to be your guide into the crypto world, especially on the Solana side. And the project itself was, like I said, originally released as a meme coin, Samo, and has evolved to become the Solana mascot ambassador, helping new people get on board to Solana, building new and exciting solutions for the ecosystem. Yes, this is a dog here, folks. And uh, the Samoid, or I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure what language that is but it's something from eastern europe which is the breed of the dog which that's basically originated from um and it's the same as the beloved co-founder of Antali yavakovenko uh obviously it's one of the <laughs> or as they should i should say as they believe they believe it's one of the most adorable dogs on any blockchain and then it also bears the name of Solana's ecosystems or at least I should say, one of Solana's ecosystem's most prominent figures, Sam Bankman Fry, who is the CEO of FTX, making it, yeah, like I said, the perfect Solana Doge. It's community owned and fun. It's inspired by those two people that I had mentioned. Um, and then it's available on a couple exchanges here, folks. Uh, you can buy it on gate.io, MEXC Global, uh, I believe that's AAX Exchange, and then you can buy it on BitTrue as well, or you can, you know, swap it on Orca, Radium, or Step. Now, this is something that also kind of caught my eye and got me interested as far as you know, investing into this particular project. We're looking at the max supply of what about fourteen billion. Um, they, it does have some burn mechanisms a part of it as far as the two point one percent that was burned at launch and then sixty four percent is to be burnt over over three events. Uh circulating two point seven eight billion, fourteen point four percent was Distributed via free airdrop, man. Wish I was part of that airdrop. And then 5.6 is going to be released gradually 
And then the other 10% is for marketing growth, and then 3.9% goes to the core team. As far as a roadmap, uh, this bad boy was pretty much born um, back in April 2021 of this year. Uh, first batch was burn, which is 2.1%, and then 1.4% of the max supply was distributed in a meme contest. Go figure. Um, 13% of that supply was airdropped to the community members. And then if you go back to, what is this? May, we're looking at May here. 5% of the max supply was burned in a vet to honor Anatoly Yokovico with the vanity address. Samo developed some Samo tips as a submission for the Solana season hackathon. Back in June, we got 5% of the supply that was burned in an event to honor Sam Bankman Fry with a vanity address. July, the 54% burn plan of the max supply is initiated to celebrate the start of Salon summer. 500 million tokens are burnt on a random day every month. Q4, we're going to have a Sam NFT with a buyback and burn mechanism in collaboration with Solana Art. And then they're going to obviously continue their mission to be the community driven coin to bring fun and awareness to the Solana ecosystem. Now, I want to go back to this burn plan. Now, that 500 million tokens that are burnt on a random day every month, which is pretty sick. Um, I'm speculating, and this, like I said, this is my own opinion. I'm thinking that when we had that huge uh, leap in bound. <laughs> From like that one, two pennies all the way up to 10, eventually 20. I think I got, if I'm not mistaken, let me go ahead and check here, guys. High as almost what, 20, almost 24 cents. Um, so I was thinking to myself that maybe that was maybe one of the random days that tokens got burned and uh, caused the price to skyrocket because it did dip um, and it dipped heavy. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, different that high 20 cent range all the way back down to, you know, 10 cents, 9 cents, 8 cents around there. Uh, so that's something that is you can keep your eye out for. Because, uh, again, we for November, you know, tomorrow we can wake up or the next day or the week. Um, random day. And next, thing you know, coins again burn. And that could cause another spike in the price. But those Samo tips, uh, you can generate an HTML embed code if you want to use that on basically anything that you might have. Um, as far as uh, they have some Samo airdrop tools as well. Um, and then they also have a Samo Dex, which I was actually kind of... Uh, shocked by this and uh, it doesn't seem like it's I don't know too much process and volume going on on the platform I'm assuming it's obviously a work in progress uh, some stuff doesn't really pop up but it looks like there's some orders on the order book um, so obviously there might be some users some group of people obviously out there that are using the Samo Dex. So yeah, Samo has its own <laughs> decentralized exchange. So uh if you would like to trade with some of these different pairs, obviously they don't have a lot of pairs, but hey, they got a couple pairs on the Samo Dex. But again, this is a project that, you know, hey, now it's officially on my list. Uh again, like I said, it is part of the Solana ecosystem. So, you know, this is, I see this as, you know, another way to earn some Solana just in case, you know, things don't maybe necessarily go as well or, um, or I just want to move into Solana. That's what's kind of nice. Uh, you have your options, you have your preferences, you can do what you want as you please, but man, that will wrap up Samoid coin here, folks. Yeah. Uh, Again, this was a coin that I stumbled upon and I figured, you know what? If I'm going to invest into a meme coin, 
because you know I was I should say I am not a big fan when it comes to certain meme coins or just maybe meme coins in general just because nine out of ten times uh, utility use cases normally are pretty low uh, and you know seeing what Dogecoin and Shiba has done and all that stuff but the metrics of this particular coin and like I said this is a different ecosystem um, I think the coin metrics was something that really stood out for me um, and helped me kind of figure you know what why not go ahead and throw some money into this particular dog coin because you never know obviously things I'm telling and expressing and kind of just overviewing this is by all means not financial advice so <laughs> please please do your due diligence investing is risky folks don't invest what you're not willing to lose um, but that's going to wrap it up like I said as far as this particular project goes definitely have some other projects lined up uh, that I will be sharing with you guys and talking about uh, over the next couple of episodes. Uh, so just stay tuned for that. But Solana itself uh, has been doing really well. Coin, if I'm not mistaken, last time I seen the current price close to like that 250 range. Um, who knew Solana was going to kind of just be that coin that kind of popped up out of nowhere. Um, obviously, I'm a bit advocate for the blockchain. I like the fact that fees are super low. It's very fast, very fast. And uh, for me, it works out because uh, I'm able to pretty much use Solana um, on two of my crypto cards. So um, the fact that it's fast, fees are cheap, and I can use it on my two cards at any given time, at any given point, it's always a positive. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode again. If you guys want to ever check out my YouTube channel, I highly suggest you guys check it out. If you guys want to see some visuals and walkthroughs and just overall uh, a visual representation of some of these different projects that I talk about and go into depth about as well. Um, and, you know, channel is The Wolf Crypto. And for those of you that didn't know, hey, go check it out. Videos. Uh, pretty much are dropping on a weekly basis. Um, so... Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Um, I will wrap back with you guys on the next episode. Um, season 2, again, folks, it's coming with some heat. It's coming with some heat. I got some, <laughs> I got some big bada boom bada bangs in the works. And of course, appreciate y'all tuning in, listening. It means a lot. This is the Crypto Millionaire Journey. I'm your host, the Wolf of Crypto. And until the next time here, folks, y'all take it easy. Peace.